Well, why is City exiting these markets? Is there a timeline? And this is kind of a familiar uh, domain for the new CEO as well. Absolutely, Heidi. Look, Jane Fraser, the new CEO, overnight mentioned scale. So she said the businesses are good, but they're just not big enough to compete with the local rivals in their markets. That's a big reason. It's also coming at a time that regulators have put increasing pressure on the bank to clean up internal infrastructure and controls. And potentially, City is facing years of very costly regulatory work. So Jane Fraser is looking at each unit as part of a broader strategic review and just trying to clean up the business hiding. So, Nabila, what's right now the timeline for all of these changes? Sherry, they're exiting markets in Australia, Bahrain, China, India, Indonesia, some in Europe as well. They haven't outlined a timeline, but it's not something that they're going to be holding on to for very long. In Australia, for example, they've already started a sales process and they are in talks with several interested bidders and we're looking at something um, being announced before the end of the quarter. Obviously, the finalisation of the of the um, divestitures will take a while because in each of these um, jurisdictions, the regulators will have to approve the new buyers, but we're expecting announcements in not too distant future. So in terms of uh, implications for their regional footprint, what does that mean for City in Asia now? Look, that's a great question. And Jane Fraser is adamant that they will still remain in the region. And so the City is now going to be operating its consumer banking franchise in both the regions from their four wealth centres. So they've got set up these wealth centres, Singapore, Hong Kong, the United Arab Emirates and London. And uh, they've already been building out a wealth advisory hub in Singapore. They've got um, a big office there. It's the largest of its kind for the bank. And they've made room for more than 300 relationship managers and product specialists. So they're going to be um, sort of centralising their services rather than being in disparate areas.